I found out this week that someone I knew as a child died in Artesia, New Mexico. Her name was Sud. I had mentioned her younger sister Des in a previous blog post. Their parents lived next door to us in Cottonwood. Their mother actually babysat Lloyd and me while mom and dad were teaching. After Lloyd and I had started school, they moved to Artesia, but we still had frequent contact with them. After we moved to Artesia, Lloyd and I had to walk a mile to their house after school when we were attending Central Elementary, even though we lived four blocks away from the school. Even though our early lives were closely connected, I didn't realize that Sud had started her path to self-destruction when she was a teenager. At the age of 16, she eloped with her boyfriend and dropped out of school. I remember her father saying that he and her mother couldn't really say a lot about it because they had done the same thing when they were her age. They felt like they had set a bad example. She got married a couple more times but had no kids. The last time I saw her was 13 years ago when I attended the funeral of her grandmother. That was the point that dad told me she had been doing drugs for some time. Sunday night, July 13th, her mother had gone to her house to check on her and found her near death. She died in the ambulance on the way to the emergency room. I was rather saddened to find out this was how she spent the last years of her life because for a period of time I did look up to her like the older sister I never had.